Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another toy review. Co-starring Anakin Skywalker. As he slowly walks away. Um, today we got a little special, 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 special for you. I was going to say special thing, but... Uh, well, I guess you can say special thing, because this is a pretty unique uh, figure. Um, if some of you guys don't know, uh, as you can tell, this is Side War 2. Um, and you're just going to walk in front of my camera, aren't you? Excuse me? Um, and uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this figure, well, I, I've had him in the box for a while. Um, I figured today would be a good day to break them out the box because uh, recently I was doing a review of, uh, I think it was Cyber Spawn. Um, and I mentioned Cygor. I saw a picture of, well, actually, I saw a picture of a gorilla, one of the Cy, uh, one of the uh, Techno Spawn figures. And I was trying to think of the name of the gorilla in Spawn, but it wasn't the gorilla, it was a different gorilla, it wasn't Cygor. And that just kind of popped into my mind, and I was like, "Oh, you know what? I never, re I never reviewed my Cygor 2 figure uh, yet. I've had him in the box for a while, um, and I figured today would be a really good day to break him open. As you can see, I have a little bit more. I'm in a different uh, room right now than I'm that I'm usually in, and I have a little bit more light. One of the reasons why is because he's, uh, you know, he's uh, he's a black gorilla." So he is very uh, dark. So if I took him to my other room, I have a lot of dark features around there. He would just kind of blend in like uh, my review of Cyber Spawn did. My, the Cyber Spawn was, um, was, uh, was also very dark as well. And it was very hard for you guys to make out. So I apologize to that. So I tried to do a close up of, uh, of Cyber Spawn um to show you some features but it didn't really turn out all that well because of, of my horrible lighting but right now it's uh the daytime daylight and this would be a perfect time to open this guy up um and what better time than now because i've been doing a lot of unboxing right now and i figure i would unbox this with you guys uh, I've never held this guy in my hand before so this is going to be the first for me I'm surprised I have, I've actually kept this guy in the box for so long and not opened him up. But I always felt like the box, the box was always, let me move this over here. The box was always, you know, a piece of the art, you know, but I can always, like I said, I can always keep the box or always put him back in the box. So that, that doesn't really matter. Um, here, flip over, or actually go on the side. Here's some cover of uh, Side War 2. And on the back, here are some other creatures. This was from Series 12. And Series 12 had some pretty cool action figures from Spawn. Uh, the Heap, which I have, he's an awesome character uh, figure. Uh, the Creech is, is a figure I do not have. Uh, surprisingly enough, I do not have him. I would love to get him. Uh, here's Bottom Line and Top Gun. These two figures can attach and become gruesome twosome. Which is also, I think, uh, part of the Cyberlink, right? Which builds that huge Spawn uh, figure. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to do that cyber link. I might do it. I might not. I, I don't really know. Um, here is a uh, reanimated spawn. I never, I've never seen, um, any, uh, figures of a reanimated spawn. So, yeah, any figure reviews. I might have to go on YouTube and check it out, check out some reviews. If they have any reviews of reanimated spawn, um, I know I've seen reviews of the heat before and uh, the creech. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put my trusty weight right here, and I'm gonna put this down right here, and we're gonna pop this baby open um, and see what this guy is all about. Um, now usually when I see, I got my trusty Punisher knife right here. Now usually when I see uh, reviews uh, of Cygor, he's out of the box. Um, and people, for some reason, I don't know why, they don't like doing unboxing. You know, they like to take them out the box and then, then review them. But you know what? I love taking them out the box for you guys and opening them up because 
you know, we're both experiencing, you know, uh, let me put this up. There he goes right here. Beautiful backdrop, too. I like unboxing it because we're both experiencing the figure at the same time. Like I said, this is my first time opening this guy and actually touching him and feeling him. And, you know, I, I think that that experience um, kind of uh, lessens, you know, when you when you already take him out the box and you already have him in your hand, you can see what he does. You know, I like the surprise element of it all. So, But here's this uh, paper right here. Um, Manga Spawn 2, just kind of uh, previewing some of the uh, action figures that are coming out right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but anyways, I don't really care because I'm interested to get the Cygor. Um, and as you can see, he does have a few twisty ties on there. And I guess that's one of the reasons why, you know, people don't like to do unboxing of, uh, of figures because they like to get all this, all the, tw all the twisty ties off and get them out the package because it probably takes up a lot of video. But like I said, uh, I've, I've said this to you guys many times before as viewers, if you don't want to watch me untwist these ties, you know, take a couple minutes just to untwist these ties, then you don't really have to. You can always fast forward through this. But I like talking through it and, you know, just giving uh, you guys uh, my insights, um, you know, of un unboxing the figure. Because I do believe, you know, unboxing is uh, art unto itself, you know. And to take him, the figure out the box and look at him and review him with your own eyes and then later doing a review video of the, the figure that you just reviewed by yourself it doesn't make much sense you know what i mean so that's why i like you know taking them out the box and i like being surprised um like you guys are surprised you know and if i can get this guy oh cool okay he's got one at the bottom and i think you know i think that's what makes the video is the the elements the, of surprise, you know, not only for the viewer, but for the reviewer that's doing the review, you know what I mean? So, okay, here is Sigor. I'm going to put the background back here. Um, and he is really, really, really cool and really, well, somewhat heavy. I mean, yeah, he's a heavy character. I mean, he is hollow inside. And one of the reasons why he's hollow inside is because his chest... Uh, pops off. How does it pop off? I do not know. And why does it pop off? It's because he has this cyber chimp right here. Um, ugh, if I can get him out this string. This cyber chimp right here who goes into his stomach and he's just kind of a hollow piece of plastic here. He doesn't have any articulation. Let me bring this in. Uh, doesn't really have much of articulation. He just kind of, I guess, goes inside Cygor. So here's Cygor, and he looks amazing, as almost every Spawn figure does look amazing. Um, hold on one minute. Let me put this down right here, see if I can bend him. There we go. Get that off of him. And yeah, he's pretty, pretty amazing. And you can tell... Let's see if I can get them out of here. I love the chains. I love the the real chains they put on them. You know, they just don't put plastic chains on them. I mean, yes, there are figures, um, the spawn figures that have the plastic chains on them, but I love the realistic chains on this guy. It's just really, really, really awesome. Let me give you guys a close-up of this guy. And yeah, he's just badass. One thing I love about Spawn figures is they never, 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 never disappoint. And, and I've said this many times before in other videos is that Marvel, why can't Marvel give you awesome shit like this? You know, the detail and all the, the wiring and all this stuff that's going on with this guy is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me put this down right here. And, yeah, I definitely would love to see this guy. Um, his head does move. That's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely would love to see this guy in a Spawn movie. His legs do move. 
barely. He has no knee bend. He has no elbow bend. But all the shit that he has on him just kind of makes up for what he doesn't have. And his arms do go out that much. And yeah, he's pretty he's pretty amazing. I have to admit that. You know, the sculpt on this guy is just amazing. Um, if I can figure out how I can get this chest out. Oh, there we go. It just kind of pops off. And there's the chest right here. I don't know how well, guy, how well you guys can see that. The wire in his chest. Look at that. It's like real wire. It's real wire. And there's his chest opened up. Let me bring it over here because the light is kind of... There we go. Can you guys see that? Maybe it's a little bit better. And bring it over here. And he is pretty amazing. He is just pretty, pretty amazing. I love the mechanical arm. I love all these wires in his head. I love the leg. I love the mechanical leg right here. That was a nice touch to give him a mechanical arm and a mechanical leg. And to open up his chest and see what's going on right here is pretty awesome. And what an awesome name for a villain, right? Sigor? Sigor. I mean, that's probably one of the best villain names <laughs> I think ever ever done, in my opinion. This guy is in the light, so we're going to move him over here. Um, and try to get him out the light, because I think the light is kind of blocking out blocking out some of the detail. But here he goes. And he is just amazing looking. Now here's this thing right here. I don't know what this thing is. Maybe it, is it, it attaches to something. Let me see. This is kind of a hook. I don't know what it, it attaches to. Let me put, move that out the way. Here's this. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hold on one minute. And there's this. Where it attaches to is beyond me. Let's see. What can he hook onto? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I might have to go to the box for details. Actually, he has directions right here. Ugh. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not prepared. Okay, so we'll flip the, this box around right here. So, okay, mechanical chimp can store inside chest cavity. Okay, I know that one. Uh, to attach chest plates, uh, place top under. Okay, I know that one. Mechanical hand pulls off and can be replaced by hook. Okay, so there's this mechanical hand. Let me bring this over here. Let me bring this over here. So, let me put this right down here. And, you know what? It's in the sunlight, so it's probably, you guys are probably not getting much uh, much of a view. So, here's this mechanical hand. So, it pops off. I guess it would pop off like so. Okay. Ugh. There we go. And then you have the hook right here, and then you pop the hook on, like so. Actually, I'm not going to put that on all the way. I'll just show you guys. Actually, I prefer the mechanical hand. The hook it doesn't really do him any justice. I want to take the hook off, because I like the mechanical hand better, because I think it just it has like really, really beautiful uh, detail. Kind of like the gauntlet. The Thanos gauntlet. And I'll pop that back on there. Like so. There we go. Yeah, I do like the mechanical hand better. So, there he is. Let me bring the camera back over here. And then I'm going to set this right up here as a display piece. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to put the cyber chimp um, inside Cygor. So, I'm guessing he goes in like so, like that, and he sits very well in there. And then I'm going to place this chest uh, back on Cygor. 
So, let's see if this gives me any trouble. Yeah, there we go. Well, somewhat. I think Cyberchimp is kind of hindering, hindering me getting him back in there. Let's try this again. Yeah, he's kind of hindering me. Let's try putting him back on the chest back in without Cyberchimp getting in the way. There we go. Oh, it's the chain too that's in the way as well. There we go. All right, we'll leave Cyberchimp out. <laughs> and, yeah, he is really amazing. I mean, the detail in this guy. Let me tell you something, guys. If you guys don't have this in your collection, even if you are not a Spawn fan, I mean, well, let me repeat myself. Let me, let me say this again. You need to have this in your collection, even if you're not a Spawn fan. Because, come on, why not? Everyone needs a cybernetic gorilla in their toy collection. Come on. Come on, people. And if you're going to get a cybernetic gorilla, this mofo right here, I mean, come on. If you love King Kong, if you love Mighty Joe Young, if you like Rampage, if you like gorillas, this, this guy, you need to get this guy in your collection. Regardless, even if you don't like Spawn, you need to get this guy in your collection. And I love how he stands, too. His stance is just really amazing. You know, even using the Spawn um, box as a, a backdrop, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, articulation, I'm going to go ahead and look past articulation because this was made in 1995. It's, it's so hard to believe. Or this is 98. It says 98. Regardless. Well, it says 98 and it says 94, 95, but I'm pretty sure it's a 98 if it says 98 if that's the last year on the box. So, yeah, this came out in 1998. That's 20 years ago. Can you guys... Just, just wrap that around your head. 20 years ago, Todd McFarlane came out with this masterpiece. I mean, some of the things that are coming out now, like I said this in a previous video, some of the things that are coming out now, I mean, can't even compare to this guy, which came out 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Come on. Come on, toy people. Get with it. And this guy back in the day, I don't, I don't even think he was that expensive. I mean, certainly when I bought him, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't expensive. But come on now, look at this guy. I'm gonna give my rating right now. I'm pretty sure you guys know what rating I'm gonna give this guy. It's a ten. I mean, it doesn't get any more cooler than this guy. I mean, come on. I mean, this guy is is a futuristic, you know, monster movie uh, wrapped up all in one. If you like futuristic sci-fi movies and horror movies and monster movies, then you can't help but love this guy. Come on. He, he's an automatic 10. I mean, he doesn't, he, he doesn't get, they don't get much cooler than this. Come on, guys. I mean, look at the detail in his mouth. Look at the teeth. And it's so beautifully well done. I mean, they didn't even have to get him, uh, get the likeness to an ape, you know, to make this figure successful. I mean, they could have went in so many different directions that, uh, you know, a perfect gorilla face sculpt, you know, I don't think they were going for that, but they did certainly did master it. And the body sculpt, too. You know, he's beautiful. He is absolutely beautiful. I'm just kind of marveling at this guy. You know, if you're a Spawn fan, you know, you should have this guy 
in your collection. If you're not a Spawn fan, like I said, if you if you like horror movies, if you like monster movies, if you love King Kong and so on and so forth, and this is a guy, this is a figure, this is a gorilla, a monkey, you need to have in your collection. Even if you collect Planet of the Eight figures, this guy needs to be in your collection. Come on, come on, come on. So oh, there you got there you go guys. There is there is my review of Cygor 2. A perfect 10. Get this guy in your collection. So there you go. I'm probably gonna take some pictures with this guy because this guy's uh pretty amazing looking. Um he's not he doesn't uh I don't know what the scale is to this guy, but he's not probably he's not as big as a Marvel Select figure. He's probably not as big as Juggernaut, but he's right there with him. You know, he's probably not as big as Hulk, but he's right there with him. He's not as heavy as those Marvel Select figures, but he's right there with them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to take some pictures of this guy. and He's going to look really awesome on my Instagram. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Flippagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me here on YouTube. If you like this video, hit the like button if you want to follow me. And, you know, I'm going to do some more cool reviews. Uh, this is definitely one of my cooler reviews. Um... Yeah, one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best action figures ever made. Ever made. One of the best uh, bad guys, bad bad villains. I think he's a villain. I'm pretty sure he's a villain. And one of the coolest names to a, a villain ever, ever, you know. I mean, how can you not love this guy? Okay, I'm already at the 21 minute mark. It's about to hit 22, <laughs> 22 minutes. If you guys are still with me, I appreciate it. You know, but there you go, guys. There is my review of the 1998, yes, 1998 Spawn figure Cygor 2. I hope you guys love this video. I hope you guys love this figure. I hope you guys buy this figure and appreciate them. If you guys already had this figure in your collection, thumbs up. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.